Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bul Fatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the holy month of Ramadan. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister prayed to Allah the Almighty to protect His Majesty the King, wishing Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. He also prayed to Allah the Almighty to protect Bahrain, its citizens and residents in light of current conditions resulting from the COVID-19 pandemic. His Majesty the King also sent a reply cable to His Royal Highness praying to Allah the Almighty to protect His Royal Highness and lift the pandemic of all humanity, wishing Bahrain, the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Dubai Ruler, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and UAE Armed Forces Deputy Commander in Chief, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan. They exchanged congratulations on the holy month of Ramadan, wishing their countries and people, the Arab and Islamic nations, many progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged cables of congratulations with leaders of GCC, Arab and Islamic states on the holy month of Ramadan. His Majesty the King wished them all abundant health and happiness, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless their countries and people and to lift the pandemic of all humanity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held a telephone calls with His Majesty King Abdullah II Ibn Al Hussein of Jordan and the Crown Prince of Kuwait His Highness Sheikh Mash'al Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. They exchanged good wishes on the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan and wished both countries, the Arab and Islamic people, many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa exchanged cables of congratulations with leaders and Crown Princes of GCC, Arab and Islamic States, on the holy month of Ramadan. His Royal Highness wished them all abundant health and happiness, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless the countries and people and to lift the pandemic of all humanity, wishing them many happy returns. The Representatives Council held its weekly meeting chaired by its Speaker Fawzia bin Abdullah Zainal. The Council approved Decree by Law No. 29, 2020 on amending a number of provisions of Decree by Law No. 4, 2001 on prohibiting and combating money laundering and terrorism financing. The Council also approved a draft law on Bahrain's joining of the Convention of Registration of Objects launched into outer space. A proposal on remote education and training was also approved. The Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil Hamidan, affirmed that the civil societies and charity organizations must continue to apply all precautionary measures and regulations with regard to the following. Not hosting iftar banquets during the holy month of Ramadan in public places, not distributing iftar on roads, replacing zakah and charity kiosks with electronic platforms, and collecting and distributing charities electronically. The Minister expressed appreciation to the civil society organizations concerned, which have committed to all precautionary measures to maintain the safety and security of citizens and residents. Hamedan noted that the ministry has adopted a number of procedures to grant civil societies and charities electronic permits. Muslims performed a taraweeh in mosques across Bahrain amid strict precautionary measures to mitigate the COVID-19 pandemic. Last year, congressional prayers were suspended and worshippers performed the Ramadan prayers at home. Only Bahrainis and foreigners who were vaccinated 14 days after the second dose and those who have recovered from coronavirus are allowed into the mosques designated by the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments to perform taraweeh. Precautionary measures stipulated that each worshipper bring his own prayer mat and perform the prayers, keeping the necessary distance from others.
The Ministry of Health announced the vaccination and PCR test timings during the holy month of Ramadan at the designated locations. The vaccination timings at Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center, King Hamad University Hospital and Citra Complex will be in two periods. The first from 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. and the second from 8 p.m. until 11 p.m. While the rest of the centers designated for vaccination will be open for one period from 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. As for PCR tests, they will be available at Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center at the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club in two periods, the first from 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. and the second from 8 p.m. until 11 p.m. The PCR testing center at the Bahrain International Circuit will be open from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents during the holy month of Ramadan. The Ministry of Health announced that 568,892 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 405,090 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 11,210 with 1,036 recoveries, 1,267 registered new cases and four deaths. 484 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 724 are contacts of active cases and 59 are travel-related. The deceased were three male citizens aged 86, 97 and 62 and male expatriates aged 74. The Ministry expresses its heart Heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.